All right, so just recently I've been asked, um, how do you uh, connect your scanner, uh, your stream app on your phone or tablet and Ferrosphere all at the same time? So the prerequisites are, I, have a, I just have the web browser on over here, but uh, you can do this directly on the actual scanner. Or actually, it's easiest to do it directly on the scanner. You need to, on the scanner, go into Manage. Under your general settings, make sure that your WLAN is set to the WLAN option over here, that you selected the network, which is uh, the same network that you will be connected to with your phone or your uh, tablet. Uh, make note of the successful connection by just seeing that there's an IP address. This means that in the top left corner of your uh, scanner, you will have the Wi-Fi indicator. So that tells me that the scanner is connected to a network rather than just being an access point and the access point would be indicated right here. So the scanner itself is online. It's online as well as my computer is right now. Uh, needless to say, because I'm using my uh, tablet, in my case I'm using an iPad, uh, the next portion of the video you'll see that I'll connect the actual iPad to the same network and uh, go from there. Okay, so on the iPad, uh, let me go into my settings and just verify that I'm connected to the same network as the scanner was just a second ago. So I'm connected to the same DiCarlo Training Center network. I can collapse um, the settings here, go into my Ferro Stream app. And this sometimes takes a couple of seconds for it to actually work. But if you touch the very top right over here, it was relatively fast. It's not always this fast, but if the um, Sphero Stream app recognizes a scanner on the same network. It will show it to you. You can see it at the top over here. I am uh, uh, confirmed or I can at least confirm that this is working. Now, in order to connect to the Sphere interface, what you can do because the iPad is on the same network which has internet on it, just touch the little icon that looks like a little cloud at the top here. Hit login. We'll continue. Type in your credentials. If it asks, it didn't, sometimes it asks for credentials. I'll switch over to the um, workspace that I want this to go to. And now I'm ready to actually scan. So scanning obviously is possible because I'm connected to the scanner and the upload to the Sphere um, cloud interface is also possible because I'm at the same time connected to it. So we'll just go do a couple of scans or just uh, do another scan over here and we'll wait for the scan to be finished. All right, there we go. That's it for my scans. If I want to actually upload the data now, I'll just wait and there's at the very bottom of the iPad, there's a big button that says upload to Sphere. So uploading to Sphere will require you to download the scans that were previously um, scanned in the same project. You see that I have four scans now. The, that's why the progress bar says 75% because it's the last scan that I just added that will be also added to the uploading and processing of the project through Sphere. But I'm downloaded as far as the raw data is concerned and now we're just uploading all of it at the same time without having to deal with the fact that there's internet or no internet because we're uh, both the scanner and the device that I'm connected through my phone or the tablet or online. It can do both steps or all three steps ultimately at the same time. So uh, now it's just a matter of you waiting for an email that will come through your mailbox saying, hey, uh, the data has not only been uploaded but also has been processed and is ready for downloading. All right, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below.